Welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial guys. In this tutorial we will be designing this propeller in SOLIDWORKS by using the surface tools in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. Click on part and click OK. This window will get open. Here make sure that you are working in MMGS or millimeters. From here change the background to plain white. And after that click on front plane and click on sketch. Then select this three point arc and make an arc like this. These are three points. Now hold control key from your keyboard, select these two points and make relation coincident. Like this. And now we need to select center line and from this point to this edge and again from this point to this edge make a center line and again from this midpoint to this midpoint make a center line. And after that, let's specify the radius, which is 45 millimeter for this arc. From this point to this point, the distance is 30. Okay. And now select here center line. And from this origin point to here in this point in space, make a center line. Now hold control key from your keyboard, select arc and this center line and make relation tangent. Now select smart dimensioning tool, select this center line and this midpoint and this uh, vector and here specify 30 degree as angle. Now exit the sketch from here. Now we need to create a plane. So go to a reference uh, geometry and here select plane. We need to select this front plane as we have created this previous sketch on front plane and here we need to specify the offset distance as 100 millimeter and check the box from here. Now select this plane and click on sketch because we are going to create a sketch on it. Select three point arc and make an arc like this. Now hold control key from your keyboard select this midpoint and this midpoint and make relation coincident. And after that select smart dimension tool from this point to this point of this three point arc here specify the distance as 90 millimeter. And after that we need to specify the radius of this arc which is 300 millimeter. Okay. And now from here select the center line and make a center line like this. Now hold control key select these two arc and uh, center line make relation tangent just like we have done it previously select smart dimension tool select the center line and this midpoint and here select this vector and here we need to specify the angle as 36 degree okay and now we need, need to simply exit the sketch as we have nothing to do with this plane anymore so hide this plane and now select here surfaces tab we need to enable the surfaces tab go into this surface tab and here select lofted boss space here we need to select two arcs that we have created this is the first one and this is the second one and this surface will be created now let's adjust few things and here specify the start and end constraint make it normal to profile as you can see it from here and in end constraint do the same normal to profile and simply check the box from here before moving any further let me specify some appearance for better visualization by the way this is an optional step you can skip it now here select top plane and click on sketch select your center line select a line and make a sketch like this and now let's specify dimension for that Select your smart dimension tool and here specify the angle between these two lines as 48 degree. Now press escape button and drag the sketch inside like this. And after that, uh, select this fillet sketch fillet tool and here specify 15 millimeter the radius for the fillet. And again, specify this fillet and this time 14 millimeter is the radius for the fillet 
now select smart dimensioning tool and here specify the length for this line as 36 now select this line and delete this horizontal relation and make it as somewhat inclined now select these two lines and here specify the angle between them as 10 degree and hold control key from your keyboard select these two points and make relation vertical and now simply exit the sketch from here in surfaces we have this option trim surface available we need to cut the external one so here is select this keep surface and we need to select the internal surface or we, sorry we need to simply sec, uh, simply uh, select this uh, sketch and the internal boundary and check this box from here as you can see this surface is now available for us now here select thicken and we need to select this body from here one millimeter is okay for the thickness and check this box from here now uh, we need to create a circle on this top plane so select this top plane and click on sketch and select a circle from here and and now create a circle here at this region like this and here specify the diameter for this circle which is 42 millimeter and now go to features and select extruded boss base and here we need to select mid plane and here specify the length of extrusion which is 30 millimeter and check the box from here after that we need to apply some fillets so select fillet tool and here select this edge and the edge on the other side and after specifying these fillets we need to specify the radius for this fillets which is 15 millimeter and after that we since we need four wings so we will be using the circular pattern command so select circular pattern command and here uncheck the features and check the bond uh, bodies select this body and in direction one we need to select this circular edge not the face but circular edge only and since we want four so here specify four make sure to uh, check the equal spacing as well and now we simply have to combine them and uh, cut a circle at the midpoint so first uh, select a combine click on add and after that select all of these wings and check the box from here and now we need to make a simple cut so select this face and click on sketch and create a circle of uh, diameter 38 specify the diameter 38 millimeter and after that we will simply cut it so go to features and select extruded cut and here simply specify through all and check the box we can change the appearance now for better visualization so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching